Hello and welcome to another episode of Out of Spec Dave, where I'm sitting here tonight with my lovely bride, Kathy Connor, Out of Spec Mom, and also Bailey. Where Where is she? On our laps. And uh, some of you may remember when we rented a Tesla Model Y from Hertz. A lot of fun, that video. If you haven't seen that, check it out. But, you know, at the during that video, we actually really seriously considered trading in the GV60 for the Model Y, because the GV60 is is an awesome car. It's an expensive car, yes. but um, you know at the time it was in very short supply and high demand. And but at the end of the day, after driving the Y, for the cost that the Y was for the for the amount of money that the Y was was getting back then, you were like, I'm keeping my car, right? And then what happened? The other day, I made a video. You made a video about the pricing of Tesla. And you actually watched it. I watch all your videos. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, so you watched that video. They're very good, out of spec, Dave. I like your videos. Okay. So you watched my video. I watched your video. And much to <laughs> my surprise, you said, hey, I hey, wonder. Dave. Hey, Dave. I wonder how much Tesla would give me for my GV60. And I went like, car deal? Are you kidding me? I know. And I know that's shocking because I've stated many times how much I love my GV60. Oh, yeah. You love your GV60. But let's get into this one because this is a fun one that doesn't happen very often in the Connor household. A potential car deal. All right. So, Kathy, I asked Tesla how much they would give you for your car. I actually also asked Vroom, and I also asked Carvana. Um, this car was $71,000 brand new, plus tax in the state of Connecticut, over $50,000 is 7.75%. You, you, This is your car. I feel like I paid like $75,000. $75,000 for the car, right? And you, we, last year were able to take advantage of the $7,500 federal tax credit mm -hmm. on that car. Mm -hmm. And so your net cost out of pocket holistically was $67,500 on that car after paying the taxes on it and everything. Okay. And so I was thinking, you know, if you could get 60,000 for your car on a trade-in, um, that would be, or, you know, if, if Carvana or Vroom were to offer 60 grand, that would be a good deal. Carvana, they just never answered my email. Yeah. And so, and then I put, Vroom came back and they said 52 grand. And you said, well, we're keeping the car. Right. All right. So, and then I said, let's see how much Tesla will give you for your GV60. Now, the thing about Tesla, historically, every time I've gone to trade in a car to Tesla, they usually lowball. And they try to steal cars. Right, I wasn't expecting They don't really much. want cars to, to flip. Yeah. They came back and said they will give you $59,300 for your car. I know. All right? I was shocked. And so, now, because of that, if we were to look at buying a Y, you would not pay any sales tax on the Y. Right, I like that. Zero sales tax. Mm -hmm. And... The Y qualifies for another $7,500 federal tax credit for 2023. Now, we'd have to make sure that we're under the income levels and everybody has a different situation. This is a personal thing on our side. But for you out there who may qualify, it's $150,000 per individual filer and up to $300,000 filing jointly. As long as your adjusted gross income is that number or less, then you're able to claim the, the federal tax credit. Mm -hmm. So... Um, you know, just keep that in mind for yourself. For us, we're just looking at this as, wow, okay, true cost of this car was was seventy five grand less the seventy five hundred sixty seven five, and if Tesla gives us fifty nine three hundred for the car, that's like getting an additional thirty eight hundred if we were to sell it privately, which is basically let's call it sixty three thousand okay. dollars. So, so I said, Kathy, look, you've had your GV sixty now. About 10 months. Which is a long time for me to have a car um, because of you. Just saying. Okay. That's a long time for me. Okay. 10 months. 
Yeah. And you've put a 8,500 miles yeah. on the car. And, uh, you know, and so if you were to sell it and you got effectively 63,000 for the car, then you would get, in effect, it would be a cost of, of roughly four to Four thousand five hundred dollars, five thousand dollars for for the um, whole ownership experience of a GV60, sure. which in this down market with cars, especially because of the price pressure that Tesla's been putting on you know cars by just insanely reducing the prices of their cars, that's when you said, hey, let's really look at the why, and um, and well, so well, and I I I've, I've always liked the why. I've had a why in the past. Yeah. Um, the three doesn't work for me because it's too low. I right. tend to like more of an SUV. Okay. So, so let's, the S is way too big. So let's get me. into this right now. We, we have three cars right now. We have the Lucid, which is my car that I don't have because Kyle's got it. I was going to say what Lucid? I, I hope I get it back. Um, I think it's still in California. I think Where it's in, it? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't Somewhere. really know. Last I saw it was at Lucid headquarters in Newark, California. <laughs> and I'm not sure why it was there. So I'm a little concerned. Thanks, Kyle. But, um, but, you know, the thing is that we, as the Connor family, we, we, we're okay having one CCS car. And that being the Lucid for right. our road trips. And, and, and even there, it's, it's, it's a little bit challenged as far as the network reliability and all that. But we definitely want to have... A CCS car and a Tesla, yes. right? And and so I said, honey, how do you feel about driving the Model Three? Yeah. And your feeling on that is? I don't want to drive the three, but I have personal reasons for not wanting to drive the Model Three. Again, I like something a little higher up. It's easier to get in and out of yeah. the Y. I mean, it's the same car, really. Oh in yeah, effect. and it's beautiful. Yeah. But it it wouldn't be good for me as a daily driver. Okay, so. So the objective then is when we get, assuming I do, get the Lucid back, then we're going to push the Model 3. That's a big assumption. Yeah, it is a big assumption. So so <laughs> when we get the Lucid back, then we're going to have three cars. We're going to have the GV60, we're going to have the Model 3, and we're going to have the Lucid. Okay? okay? And so the idea is that in June, when you go down to Florida for the summer, we'll, we'll road trip the Model 3 down there, and then I'll drive the GV60. And then when the Lucid comes back at some point in three months or so, we'll figure out, are we going to keep the GV60 or are we going to keep the Model 3? But now we're on to a different discussion. So now a different discussion comes up, which is I really am intrigued by these prices. And, and let's let's go ahead and look at this. You know, if you look at the at the Tesla website and you go to the Model Y, this is something I took everyone through on, on my previous video yeah. the other day. But there are three versions of the car. There's the Model Y they call the all-wheel drive, which is $46,990. And this car, three months ago, four months ago, was $59,999. It's, it's crazy. Right? I, they I, lowered the price on this car by $13,000. $13, and... Now this car qualifies for the $7,500 federal tax credit. Right. Again, whether or not you qualify or we qualify, this car qualifies for that, which is a consideration. So the effective cost, if we were to trade in the GV60, there'd be no tax on this car, mm -hmm. okay? And, and then um, what we would be able to do is, is really evaluate whether or not this is the car that you want. If if you want a Model Y, the question is which Model Y. Now, one of the things that I had explained to you, and we watched a couple of videos, Corey from from uh, Monroe. Yeah, right. So from Monroe, out of spec mom. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, Sandy and Corey. Um, <laughs> great video, by the way. But I learned a lot about the the new modular structure of the Model Y. I think Tesla is doing it just because it's cheaper to produce the cars that way and they can increase their margins. Okay. Um, but it's the future of the Model Y. So when you look at the two Model Ys, the long range versus the 4680 pack, they're going to look exactly the same, except in the 4680 car, you'll get a shelf in the back, mm -hmm. you know, like that blocks um, what's in the back of your, in the back of your car. 
but they're pretty much the same cars um, from, from an appearance standpoint. But what's going on underneath the car and the future of the design of this car is very intriguing to me. The 4680 cells. You're loving that whole technology. I, I am because, you know, I, I was watching this video by Elon the other day where he was talking about an ice skater and the way that they've moved the 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 whole structural rigidity of the pack and they they've they bolt the seats onto it and they've moved everything to kind of like the center of the car and when you think about a skater when they're they're starting to spin and their arms are out like this am i going to demonstrate a spin here and then as they start to spin they bring their arms in and they accelerate and so one of the points it was really a great metaphor for me to visualize I don't know if this means that the car is put together more tightly mm -hmm. or if it will handle better around the center access. But the fact is that he's saying that this thing will corner better and it will handle better because they've put more of the weight towards the center of the mm -hmm. car. Irrespective of that, this is the new technology. And what's more important is that would we want to spend, if we were to get a Model 3, a Model 3, a Model Y, an additional $3,000 for 50 extra miles of range. You see, I wouldn't. Okay, so, and you wouldn't, why? Because what's your use case for this car? Daily commuting. Okay. And if we take it on a road trip, and I assume we will, Yeah. Um, I have such a comfort level with the Tesla supercharging network. Yeah. So I would never worry, and if I have to stop and charge, what, what is it, an extra 50 miles sooner, probably even less than that, but... You know, for me, I don't. You just know that I when don't think I need the benefit of long, long range. You have it in the Lucid. Yeah. If I have the Tesla anywhere, I never have range anxiety. And, and what's the what's the range on your GV60 now? It's two thirty-five. Two thirty-five. I was close. Two thirty-five, and it charges very fast. Yes, and it, it does. And, it, and it's and it's a great. You know, nothing bad about any of these right. eGMP platform cars. They're all great. But Tesla is just making these prices so compelling right now. And the value that Tesla is willing to give us for the GV60 makes this like, well, honey, what do you want to do here, right? So, yeah. so Well, because you remember a few months ago, I wasn't interested because the price, yeah, the price didn't make sense. But now... $20,500 higher then. So now when you, you're talking about $20,500 less for this car and, and, you know, two, you're going to have 40, 39 miles, 34 miles more range mm -hmm. than you do on your GV60. Plus you're going to have the Tesla network. Plus with the combo one adapter, you, if you want to charge on an EA, sure. you can, sure. and this car will charge pretty quickly. Sure. So, so performance isn't even a consideration. The question only becomes, which do you want to get? So if we were to price out this car, the Model Y, you would want it, let me guess. White. White. Okay. Always white. Very original. You I should... respect mom. Always okay. drives white. The wheels you would get. Whatever the base wheels. The base are. wheels. The 19 Gemini's, yeah. right? You can see how it looks over here with the 19's. With the 20's, which is two, oh, 2,000. Like those are the induction wheels, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Remember, those were like similar to the wheels I had on my Model S that I bought from CarMax. Yeah. I didn't love them. No. You know? But I mean, for you, they look fine. But I think for me, I like the other ones. But but also with the 19s, you're going to have a higher sidewall. You're going to have less chance of getting a blowout. And you're going to get better range. And they'll be quieter. Okay. So, and they're, there's no extra charge. Sounds good. Tow hitch. I know you always want me to have a tow hitch. Tow hitch. I get a tow hitch. 100%. Why? Because you can tow something up to, I think it's 3,500 pounds, yeah. which is true. But you, think it's good to have. It's just like uh, you put a fun. bike rack on the back, right? And it's just, it's nice to have. Interior. White. 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 White, white. Okay. We, they don't even offer the seven seater. Not that we would want it. It's four grand, by the way. What is four grand? So on the, on the long range test, the Model Y long range, you can, you can option the car with seven seats. Oh, you're saying it's another four thousand yeah. dollars? Well, I don't even need seven. No, I know, seats. but you can't even get it on the forty six eighty all wheel drive base model Y. I only need me, you, you, and Bailey. And Bailey. All right, where is she? Bailey. Here she is. Okay, Bailey, this girl just ate my 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 micro <laughs> SD <laughs> card. Did. She ate. You ate. So pretty. So like you know the road trip that I don't know maybe she didn't want to have the footage of us at south of the border because she ate the freaking micro SD card. She's eating two of them now. Maybe if it wasn't laying around, she wouldn't eat them. Who would think a dog would eat a micro SD card? 
Seriously. Dogs eat a lot of They're plastic things, and metal. Why would you eat it? Dogs eat a lot of things. I don't know. I love this animal, but tonight she's in trouble. No, she's not. She's, she's okay. Well, so. You and then, were in trouble because you weren't careful with your oh, little yeah, part. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Just be careful. It. You know, with, so with uh, enhanced autopilot and full self-driving, we're not buying that. For no, the car. No. If we ever want to try it, we can for 199 I don't even use lane assist I know, or anything. I, don't, I know. I don't I know. Use any of that. Charging, we don't need any of this. We have all that, yep. right? So the question then is Are it, we ordering it right now? Well, hold on. Do you want to? Why not? Well, so you're you're ready to do this deal. I already said I wanted to do this deal. You're sure? I'm a thousand percent sure. You're not gonna have massaging seats? Okay, I'm giving up two things. I really am giving up. You're two not going to have the the, the blinkers, uh, the the blind spot assist in your mirrors. I'm you're not going to have. Three things. You're not going to have Ford collision warning, or I'm sorry, you're not going to have cross traffic that. alert in the I'm front. Okay. That, cross traffic alert in the rear. Why are you rear? talking me out of it? I'm not. I'm and just. Why saying, are you yelling at my ear? And the car doesn't do three point eight seconds zero to sixty. I don't care about have that. Have you ever even pushed the power boost button? Never. Oh, no, once you made me, just once. I made you. You did. Okay. I, don't, I don't need that. You're not going to have cooled seats. I never used cooled seats. You're not going to have Napa leather. I am going to have heated seats. Heated seats. Heated, heated steering, steering wheel. wheel, right? Okay, so in, I think I'm giving up two things. Crystal ball. Darn, maybe I'm up to four things now. Crystal ball. I love my crystal ball. Right, CarPlay. We should wait. I don't care about CarPlay. Car how about, how about um, heads up display? Uh, that's the other thing. So for me, so you need to really think this through. Okay. All right. So let's just put on, put that over so then, here on the left side of the paper, thinking it through. Let's look at the deal. Okay. If we, why does he do this to me? No, I, this is, I was ready. Now no, I don't, I don't, I don't want you to have regrets. <laughs> it's a car. Right? No regrets. It's 48,990. Right? Well, I like that. It's less expensive than the GV60. Well, a lot less expensive. And, and if we continue the payment, you'll also have to pay tonight, if we order this, $250, which is due today. That's a non-refundable order fee. And I don't know if that, hey, okay. I don't know if that is actually applied to the price of the car. It isn't. It's just in addition to the cost of the car. So you got forty eight nine ninety. So plus... I'm paying two hundred and fifty dollars for the privilege of putting in my order. Yeah, and if you back out, you lose your two fifty. Hmm. So you got to really think about this. I, 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 I mean, considering okay. how much they've lowered the cost, I don't think that's a problem. Okay. All right. I, I'm just saying. But I'm not ordering right this second. I really was ready to go, and now you have me questioning. No, no. I just think it's important up. for you to think it through. So, so then there's $1,390 to ship it from, this car was made in Austin, Texas. Okay. The battery was made in Fremont, California. That's great. And for them to ship it to wherever we're going to pick it up, most likely, once again, Mount Kisco, right, with our friends there, it's $50,630 and then plus registration, yeah. right? But you're not going to pay any taxes because we're going to trade the GV60 right. in, okay? So... What? So what? So what do you want to do? I don't know. You just, I was ready to go and now you have me. What's important to you? All a flutter. We, we, we want to have two CCS cars. Okay. That's the most important thing. I don't want that. Okay. So we want to have a Tesla. That's how this all started. And a Lucid. Right. Would you like to have a Model S? No. A Model X? No. <laughs> And you don't want to drive a Model 3, so there's only one other car besides the Semi. <laughs> I would never drive that. Right? <laughs> so, or, or, the, or the Cybertruck, which is like, what the heck is that thing, right? Okay. So, so even though the Genesis GV60 has all those nice gadgets and whiz-bang. It really does have everything. And it has buttons, and it's gorgeous, and Napa everything. leather, and, and all that. Seats. This is the difference in price now and the strong money that they're giving you, I I actually think this would be a smart thing for us to do. I really do. Well, I thought it was too, too. It just made me stop and think about it. So now I have to sleep on it. Really? Yeah, you just had made me tell me I had to think about it. All right. I was ready to go. Why do you do that to me? I don't know. I don't either. I'm just going to, I'm going to order it. 
We're going to order it because I know you're going to wake up in the morning. But it doesn't have a crystal ball. I'll get you a crystal ball. I'll get you a crystal ball. All right. So we're going to order it. We're going to pay with Apple Pay. Is that how we do it? I'll have to block all this out, I think. Billing address invalid. What are you kidding me? Order with the card. All right. Look, I'll I'll complete this transaction here. We'll do this. I will do this. I want to do it. But you want to do it. But well, I have to I just put in it. I have to put in the uh credit card information and do all that. So I'm not going to do that in front of everyone. Then they'll then they'll have our credit card and they'll order their own Model Y. Oh yeah. No, but how do people see that? Is that recording? This whole thing is being recorded. No the screen kidding. share everything. Don't you worry. I'm not worried. Bailey, do you want to push the button? <laughs> She's, now. she's, she's so like, she, she, the daddy, she's, so she's like, I want a micro SD card for dessert is oh what I want. Oh my gosh. Um, all right. Um, all right. You think about it and then we will, you want to sleep on it? No, I'm really, I would you're, like to do this. You're sure? Yes. All right. I'm all right. Really let's annoyed that you were okay. trying to don't talk be, me out of it. Don't be annoyed. I was annoyed. This is fun. Order with card. Come on, I'm trying to buy something here. Oh, enter account details. Okay, here we go. What's my name again? Can you put an out of spec Dave? No, that's not my account. I was kidding. No, uh, some some of my accounts is, is, is it's that way. Okay, wait till you see what happens when you order this. It's so cute. You did white, um, white. Uh, yeah, we'll check. And we'll not, check that. Hold on one second. I gotta get my. I gotta get my credit card. That would help. I can't believe you don't have the number memorized. I I kind of do, but can I use your credit card? No. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What do we have here? And when do I know when I trade? Uh, how long will it take? And when will they take my car? I don't know. They, they might have one right in stock in our area, or it might take a month, or it might take a week. Uh, you, know, you know, with Tesla, you just never know. You, you just really never know. It seems like you wake up every day and there's a new pricing. That's true. That's pretty wild. So don't be upset if they lower the price by $2,000 uh, tomorrow they morning. They've already lowered it. If they do that, we'll just cancel this order and put another one, okay, lose, lose uh, two fifty. dollars So, um, okay. And I've had the Y before. Right, you, I do like you, it. You push the you push the button. You got to hit plus place order. No, not it's not a touch screen. Oh. <laughs> Use the trackpad. It's, a, it's laptop. a laptop. Oh yeah. <laughs> it didn't work. Dictionary. I okay. Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever make me push a button. All right. I think it's doing it now. Duh. There it is. And look, you got the little. Uh, oh, is he a squirrel? What no, is he? he's a, a chipmunk. No. What is that? You don't know what that is. That's Katie's favorite animal. What is it? Not a sloth. It's not a sloth. Oh, a hedgehog. It's a hedgehog, it's a hedgehog. right? And he just said, yes. So, okay. congrats. High five. Thanks again for watching another episode of Out of Spec Dave. She's getting a Model Y. Have a good one. Take care.